Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome back to Alan Wake Remastered. Now, it's been a minute since I picked this up, but I really wanted to make sure to finish this up and kind of tie up the loose ends that we have since I started playing this game. So um, I figured I'm going to start here because they always give a little recap at the beginning of each new chapter. So I figured that might be a good way to freshen your memory up if you if it's been a bit of time since you've watched my previous episodes in this playthrough. So, all right, let's let's get into it. I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane, Thomas Zane. You're the Lady of the Light in the song. He left something behind to help me, the clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. That's right. We met like the the lady of the light who's been leaving all the little like uh, little packages of batteries and flashlights everywhere and we're in the little bunker. So what's what's going on though? Where are we now? I'm assuming he's having little flashbacks. I had a hangover. My head was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Yeah, my, my glasses, oh my god. This is my favorite part, being an alcoholic simulator. <laughs> uh, the sunglasses made the world look bearable. Now I could keep my eyes open without feeling like a vampire in the sun. I wasn't sure I'd make it out there without some painkillers. Back now, not, excuse me. It's it's too strong. He's too weak in his drunken state to open that door. I give him a painkiller. My God. <laughs> the pills worked fast. The process oh. of wake started to seem bearable again. God, the rack. Like, I'm sorry, with the the animation where like they don't even animate pills coming out of it. And I I know it's an old game, and the remaster isn't trying to fix everything. I am excited for Alan Wake. Waiting for me on the machine. All right, I'll check that in a second. Hurry, let's see if there's anything else to, to see. Anything else that's changed in his little apartment since we were last year. I like the golden guns there are very nice. That's like a trophy you unlock in an old 007 game. Um, but it's so funny. If you see the trailer for Alan Wake 2 that's out, the jump in visual quality, which I predicted. I talked about this in earlier episodes, why Alan Wake 2 I'm excited for. Because of the fact that... Um, this game is one of their earlier games, but since they've made games like Control and some of their, you know, games in the time since then, they've really, uh, Remedy, the studio, has really amped up the quality um, and the look of their game so, so, so much. So I'm excited to see where they go. And I think um, they said the second game is going to have a split narrative. Alan, Alan's going to be one playable character and then a detective is going to be another. And they share the same world that Control is in, actually. So there might be some overlap there. So there's a lot of potential that I think if they really go for it, it could be interesting. So, all right. Anyway, let's listen to his voice, Miles. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, that she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Al, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show. All right. Let's see, any of those new in here? Probably not, but I was waiting for something horrifying to pop out because we're clearly in some sort of daydream that he's having. I'd been a guest on the talk show the previous night, talking about my latest book. The show was supposed to be waiting for me on our TiVo. A TiVo? That's not dated at all. Do people still use TiVos? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Harry Gallet Show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, 
I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of... Is that the real actor? Yeah, it is. Did you kill Casey? What the hell were you thinking, man? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard, always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the lady. Was that autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. With Casey, it was all about his pain. No, nothing autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. Well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good, great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did... Oh, uh, Alan's got the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, your latest novel is called The Sudden Stop, and it's in bookstores now. Go get it. That means the two of you out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. Once more, do the face for his Sam. <laughs> and our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. That's, that's a fun cameo for the band. I didn't say anything stupid if that's what you want to know. Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? I should have followed her advice, but suddenly I was at. Ooh. Oh, I didn't think he was going to jump into an ass shot. Sorry. <laughs> now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid sentence. Now I'm over it. Are you angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal. And you can start writing again. I'm sorry, honey. Alan, you're not thinking straight. Just take a shower and go back to bed, huh? Yeah, you're right, honey. I'm sorry. Once this is over, let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Yeah, nothing bad will happen. One thing I do think is funny is how, um... If I'm not mistaken, the there's a there's a face model for Alan, and then he has uh, a different voice actor. And I'll talk more in a second. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to save Alice. I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms to make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry, take her gun. <laughs> Close the door when I... Alan went full vigilante in about two seconds there. <laughs> Aww, I love you too, Al. Best character in the game. See you later. Oh, I don't want to be by ourselves. Yeah, I want him to come with us. He's the best. And you know what? Actually, here, before we get any further, I'm pausing because the dialogue mix sounds low to me. So I'm going to see if I can adjust the sound settings just so I can hear it better. And then also that we hope it will stand out better in the video. Because I always hate when the mix of the sound in a video game has the dialogue pushed too far down. So let me adjust that and we'll, we'll head you know forward into the rest of this cutscene. It was warm and sunny. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. 
that's where I was headed. Okay, but does the clicker actually do anything? Is his little this little childhood memento gonna? <laughs> Is it, is it just a mental thing? It's like fighting through depression. You're like, I gotta change my mindset, and then the darkness can't get me. <laughs> Alone, in daylight, surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape, it was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk everything up to a dream, a delusion. I had enough imagination to make up something like this, having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head gone mad from grief over Alice's death like Hartman had claimed, there would be no way of knowing. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Oh god, do I get to drive again? The driving is so raggedy, but it's really fun. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. God. <laughs> It's fine. It's kind of, I kind of miss games like this that have really raggedy, like, driving physics and all that because, I don't know, it's like playing really bad, like, old PS2 games. Like, especially, you know, I don't know, I love the experience thinking back when I would go buy an old PS2 game at, like, a GameStop and you'd ask for what used ones they have. And you'd just go in there and be like, I got, I got 12 bucks. I want three games. It doesn't matter if they're good. I just want them. All right, here. I was going to pull off here. Everyone, we're going to go use the port potties is there any point to being here? Is there anything to check out? I know in previous episodes, I haven't... Um, okay, let's see. Uh, batteries. Okay, yeah, a little bit. But yeah, in previous episodes when they've just been driving, I haven't actually stopped to look around very much. Also, got it, because it's been a little while since I picked this back up, so my, um, I'm getting the controls all wrong. I've been playing Dark Souls, so I'm like holding down circle to run, even though I'm like, okay, no, I forgot. This game has normal controls. That is one thing I swear that no one wants to admit is that FromSoft games, they could make those controls more streamlined. I'm still in this car. This one's mine now. It's like, this is the, this is the GTA game built into this. All right, how do I reverse? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's fine. It was a rental. I didn't need any. Excuse me. Papa's got to go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, playing the FromSoft games, I'm like, they could make the, like, the run button more manageable. Oh, do I want the truck? Oh, my God. I can just keep picking things up. Can I run things over? Excuse me. Or is that where we're going? There's a lot of areas to like pull off here. So I'm like, I'm trying to be a little more thorough and not just plow through, especially if there's like supplies or equipment or weapons that I don't want to miss. Oy. Like, let's see. So I think previously I may have driven past some areas like this, not realizing. Yeah, okay. Like there's a rifle. Especially. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Choking on my own spit. Pardon me. Ugh, I don't like doing that. If I'm going to choke on spit, it better be someone else's. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe this is the way to go. All right. Because the road went further down, but maybe it goes to a dead end. I don't know. It's one thing that I kind of hope they fix in later games um, is it's a little tough to tell which way you're supposed to be going. You know, like, I don't know if this is the main path. I don't know if this is a side area. That's all right. We're, we're going to do some exploring. I'm not going to stress about it. I used to get so worried about, you know, taking too long or getting distracted, but I'm like, which is silly because you, you know, it's something to worry about um, when you're editing the video, you know, like if something's really dull, then you just, you just cut it out. But that's something I had to realize was I'm like, okay, I'm not live streaming, you know, I'm not like here being like, oh my God, this is like a boring 30 minute detour. It's like, okay, if it's really, if, if I go explore an area and there's really nothing to find, then I'll just, I can trim it out. Oh God, the slow running. I got to remember, too, that he takes forever to recover, but I, what is it? I think if you count, he gets like 10 seconds of of sprint before he kind of conks out. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then he let off. Okay, so that's kind of the way to do it, is to like not let him sprint for too long. It's one of the main things I hope they fix in the next one. Um, I'm still in this car now. I'm just I'm trying out all the vehicles, all right? I got to test my options out. These people don't need them, and they left the keys in, so they wanted them to be stolen. Pardon me. Um, if they don't fix the fucking running, I'm going to lose my mind. Anything down there? Uh, that doesn't really look... Oh, okay, because we're going to the house, so... Right? doing like a big ass tour of this whole area and i forget too i think this might be last episode 
uh, except for I think there's some DLC content as well. So I don't know. We'll see. And anyone to get in here? Anything else to look at? Is it just for the collectible, the canteens? Uh, yeah, I think that's all. All right. I didn't realize either some of the um, the like trophy and collectible stuff like. There are little stacks of cans, like little pyramids of cans, and you're supposed to shoot those when you see them or knock them down. That's like another little collectible. Like, that is one thing with Remedy games. They love adding collectibles and findables into their game. Like, Control, it's it's kind of exhausting. Like, I will say, um, I love Control. I think it's a great game. But one thing they do is there are documents fucking everywhere. Uh, this looks really promising. Oh, do I have to get out? Hold on, how do I stop? <laughs> Here we go. Well, uh, no. <laughs> darkness had touched me. <laughs> link between us. Where had the darkness touched you, Alan? I feel its presence again, getting closer. Oh well, that's good. I'm glad you and the darkness are have such an intimate relationship. Uh. Oh, god damn it. Oh, I forgot we gotta do dodging and shit. Alright, I gotta break their shields first. Okay. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna try to take my time because previously I would try to like run around a lot and you really just got to be methodical with taking out the enemies like and then the dodge that's right dodge is the same as the run button he does this little <laughs> this little jiggy move um oh that's right we got the manuscript pages um but same thing with like the manuscript pages like remedy they just love putting stuff in their games control has like a billion different pieces of like like notes you find throughout like the facility that you're going through which, like, some of them are interesting, like, they make the place feel really fleshed out, but I ended up just, I just ended up picking them up and not reading 90% of them because I was like, okay, these aren't, like, after a while you realize these aren't story specific. Um, how do I do the high beams? Hold on. Uh, nope, nope. Hold on. Hold on, sorry. Papa's forgotten to control. He's forgotten how to drive, how to put the high beams on. Uh, is it, that stops it. Oh, it's just X. Okay. Everything good there? All right. I really want to run something over. Please tell me some shadow creatures appear. Yeah! <laughs> Wee! <laughs> it's so fun. Like, I, I'm just like, you know what? I have time. I can go back and get one of the other cars. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so funny because you really don't have to fight them. Like, they're not fast enough. You know, you can just drive past. But now that I know that you can hit them with the high beams and run them over. Oh, it's a whole lot more fun doing it that way. Someone up there? Come on. Come on. Oh, <laughs> I got a trophy for that. <laughs> I got a trophy called right of way for running him over. That's funny. All right, hold on. Let me see. Is there anything? We're doing a little off-roading. I want to see if there's anything over here I need to get. Oh, my God. All the haze. I can't see shit. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. I th Ow. It's okay. It's fine. It's a well-built car, all right? We're in a really good Subaru. Oh, my God. We're in a Subaru, so, you know, it's going to run really well, but we don't get the bonus you get if you're a lesbian. All right, not here at the Bates Motel. Uh, oh, we can't just run right in. Oh, cool. This, this has obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Oh, that's right. Crazy Agent Nightingale. I'd almost forgotten about him. Over ammo. The one who was just like actively shooting at Alan amidst a bunch of civilians. <laughs> Look at yourself, Can I get in my car to run him over? Oh, that wasn't too bad. 
Hold on. We're not we're making life easy for ourselves. Excuse me. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, but anytime more enemies show up, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hop back in the car. Cause it's just way more fun. And it saves ammo, it's more efficient. Uh locked, okay. No, okay. Ugh, all right. I guess the only one that we could go in is the Agent Nightingale one. Which I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure nothing terrible happened to him. Are right, we heading down there? All right, yeah, I guess that's all there is to see. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. There's a little entrance here. Yeah? Oh, okay, here we go. What you got for me? Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here in room number two. Yeah, I, I've been there. i seen it. Uh, oh, do I want the shotgun or the rifle? I don't because the shotgun... I don't know. I don't know. I forget. I, I don't think it matters all that much, so I'll go for the shotgun. Alright. Alright, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, maybe I should grab another car because they do wear down is something that I tend to forget. Uh, oh, that one apparently doesn't work. Does this one not work either? Oh, okay. Fine then, you know, I'll stay in this car. I didn't want another car anyway. Uh, okay. Whoop! Jesus Christ. Why is that car glowing? Is Why is that demon possessed? Is there anything over here? Can we drive the boat? Uh, alright. Sorry, just trying to be thorough, trying to explore. I know, this is great gameplay. Me driving around through the haze, running shit over. Or is it a page in there? Hold on, I gotta investigate. Why is the car glowing? If it's nothing, I'm gonna be annoyed. Uh, come on, you got something? Oh, I can just drive it? It's just letting me know that? Alright, well this one's a little bit cooler looking. Alright, let's go! Which way am I supposed to go here? Is this side blocked? Y yes. But I can go that way. Again, I'm not really sure where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Like... But I can go around. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> oh, wait, is this where we came from? Hold on. Oh god, I'm getting myself confused. I'm so sorry, everyone. Hold on. We can go around here. Oh, I see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keep going, keep going. Come on, you can do a little car. Alright, we're going this way. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Where are we headed? Oh shit! All right, I'm not worrying about it. I'm just gonna push through. Can I? Oh god! Oh no, I blocked the way through. Hold on, hold on. I made a mistake. All right, where are they? Are the spooky things gone? All right, okay. I think we're. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, okay. I probably should have just made him run for it, but it's okay. Got you. The door is missing. <laughs> come on. Come here, come here, come here. You're next. You're next. Oh, that's right. The fuck is that? What's twitching over there? What? What is, what is it? Oh god. I'm ruining the suspension. Now the, the hood's gone. Yeah, can, like, can I just leave? I feel like I might just make a break for it. <laughs> Checkpoint reached. Okay, alright. So I'm on the right track. Uh, anything up here? Okay. Stuff! Nice. Okay, I just know some bullshit's about to pop up any moment. Oh, what did I say? Hey, 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 hey! I swear, it's one of the most difficult things in the game is the objects just flying at you. Why is it so bright over there? My god. This is a magic sunbeam. What the hell? 
Oi, oi. No, no, no. Ow. Okay. Whoa! No, not the fridge! <laughs> ah! Oh god. Alright, what's what else is attacking me? Okay. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. I'm okay, I'm okay. This is fine, everything's fine. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god, oh god, I'm oh no, oh no! Shit. Oh god, this game goofy as hell. <laughs> All right, I'm back here. I wonder if I can just run. I mean, I was gonna say I would just try to run through it, but of course, Alan has the stamina. Not even. I was gonna say the stamina of a two-year-old. That's not even. That's disingenuous to two-year-olds who have lots of energy. And I was gonna say like like one of my old relatives, but even they have more energy than Alan does. Small children with asthma can run further, further and faster than he can. Stop it. This shouldn't be this difficult, I swear to god. And now I'm low on health. Oh no! Ow! I gotta run away, I gotta run- <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey. Maybe I can just run past them, because this, this, this is silly. I'm dying to used car parts that are killing me. Alright. Let me take a second to heal up. I forgot- I forget too that he- um, he heals passively, like you can see it, it slowly ticks up, so if I just kind of hang out for a second, he'll heal, so. Which also is not, it's not amazing gameplay design, because it makes you end up just kind of sitting around and waiting, like. To be fair, it's not exclusive to this, though. I, that happens to me even playing like, um, ugh, I know some terribles up there. Playing like Elden Ring does that, because that was like a tip that I learned, um, was, because there's the one, uh, what's, what's, what's rumbling? What's rocking and rolling? All right, was that it? Anything else flying at me before I move ahead? I still want something to show up and bonk me in the back of the head, but um, oh, but anyway, Elden Ring, that's a thing, like after I'd like be super low on health and almost dying. I'm so suspicious, every barrel I see, I'm waiting for it to try to kill me. Um, But there's like, there's like a charm or like an amulet, whatever they call them in Elden Ring. Oh God, is it, is it? Oh, it's you, ah! I know, hide behind this car. That'll at least keep them from hitting me in the first place. Okay. Maybe that's what I should have been doing, is if I could use, um... Like, if I'm using cover more, then it's not gonna hit me. Maybe I'm just playing this game wrong, I don't know. Not the boss battle with the farm equipment! Oh god! Oh... Oh, it worked. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> He's so chill about it. Nice to see you too. Like his little quippy one-liners. Oh, at least there's a car waiting for me. Basking in the glow of the light here. All right. Wasn't it just daytime? Why the fuck is it nighttime now? Hold on. <laughs> All right, I don't see anything over there. Oh. We've got hitchhiking ghosts. That's a haunted mansion reference for all the uh, for all the Disney adults watching. Ow! Stop it! It's I just paid it off. Please stop walloping on my car. It's just driving through Los Angeles at night. Stop it! <laughs> all right. What you gonna take one of the big trucks, like those big military-looking vehicles? That'd be fun. All right. We'll break their shields first, and then come here. Come here. Come here. Boom! Oh, Jesus, it's a mess. Alright, I think I think that worked. I think I ran him over. I think my car is not in great shape, though. Oh, what the hell? Oh, stop it! Oh, is my car stuck? What's happening? Is that car after me? What is fucking happening? Is that a ghost car? Oh god, am I stuck? Oh, look at Alan! He's fighting for his life. Oh no! My car's stuck? 
No! Oh, come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. You can do it. I'm stuck on something. If I get out and get back in. Oh, no. This car is dead. Okay. Ow. Oh, God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. Ow. Are there other cars I can take? Oh god, it's coming after me. You told me I have to do this on foot. With Alan running the way that he does. Oh god, where are you? Where are you, ghost truck? Oh Jesus Christ, this is, this is a nightmare. Like, this is a literal nightmare. One of those you take it to your therapist and you're like, I had a dream that a bunch of shit was on fire and a ghost vehicle was chasing me and I was a writer who had asthma. What does that mean, Doc? Tell me. Oh, I'm out of shotgun ammo already? Fuck me. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you wanted the zoomy. Ow! Alright, come back here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you go. Oh my god, you take forever to die. Alright, I better get some ammo soon. I'm low on everything. Now, which way am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go up that way or through this gate? I don't want to go the wrong way. Go to Cauldron Lake. But there's a glowy farm. I don't know. This like it looks like something, like, right? Okay. Yeah, like, what the hell is in here? Is this like, oh, is this like a safe zone? Okay, let's see. Let's see. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, and there's a new truck in here. Okay, okay. So, hold on. There might be supplies then. Uh, nope. Maybe upstairs? Uh, okay, yeah, there's a little bit of stuff up here. Okay, so, one flare. Are you kidding me? God damn it. That's fine. As long as I have the truck and then run people over, it's not that big a deal. All right, hop in. So, okay, so that's what I should realize is that... Is that the truck? Did it flip over? <laughs> that's really funny. It drove about as well as I did. Oh, man. Nope, I'm not even going to stop for you guys. You guys broke my last car, and I'm, I'm not happy with that. Uh, okay, another car there if I need a backup. It's really just about surviving long enough till you get another vehicle. Okay, can I... Oh, God. Can I drive past all that spooky? Ah. Oh, God. Oh, school is not in session. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. I can go buy it, though. Okay. It's fucking excuse me. <laughs> Oh, shit. What did you get stuck on? Okay. All right, all right. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. What's there? Okay. Can I squeeze through here? No? Oh, no, don't tell me I'm stuck again. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to break the game by getting stuck over and over. I swear to God. Oh, it's that's right. It's the, the shadow man jizz everywhere. All right, new truck. Okay, cool. Got that. Ew, ew, ew. I'm really just like a janitor for the town, you know? It's really not a very glamorous job. Oh, now I don't want to. Oh, 
Oh, shotgun ammo. Thank God. Oh, there's a lot of you. All right. Okay. Can I? Can I? No, he ran the wrong way. No! I, I, fuck, I can't see a fucking thing. Holy fuck, camera. What the fuck is happening? All right, because the light, like the flares will keep them back for a time. You know what? I got a flashbang. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck, I was right the light was right there. Oh, cars that have their interior lights on can be driven. That at least makes sense. At least I understand the mechanic now. So okay. God damn it. Alright, so you know what? I'm just tossing some flashbangs that I'm running. This is bullshit. Oh Nope. Nope, I don't need help. I don't need modern camping equipment. I'm more of a glamping kind of guy. That's my vibe, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm flashbang all of you. Now go ahead. Keep running, Alan. Pick up the note. No, don't jump, you little bitch. Oh, give him my stuff. There we go. Oh my god. I'm just trying to get to Cauldron Lake, I swear to god. This is the least friendly city I've ever been to. And I've been to Los Angeles. Oh. I don't know if I want to stop. Like, I want to explore, but I'm like, okay, can you just... I just, yeah, I was going to say, excuse me. That's not going to stop me. Uh, is it this way? Oh, okay. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Turn turn around. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not the best guy. I don't actually work here. I'm not actually an Uber driver. I've kidnapped you. All right, up here to... Okay, oh, yeah, I go through this fun industrial complex. Lovely, lovely. Oh, here, we're giving the, the yellow spots that tell us that there is, uh, there's like a safe area. All right, I'll hop out here, then check this out. I can always run back to the car if I need to, if things get dicey. Ah! Like that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Let's say, don't get stuck again. That's my main concern. Okay, good. You know what? Fuck it. I'm fine. I'll stay in the car then. I'm going to run everyone over if I can. Ow. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm not leaving the safety of my vehicle. <laughs> All right. It seems like I might be safe for the moment. Are you sure about that? God damn it. Back to the car. My car's smoking, though. Back up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to get stuck. I'm going to get stuck. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. I'm out. Can I run him over in reverse? Oh shit, yeah, my car's dead. Bastards. I just want the supplies. Where are the fucking supplies? Alright, there they are. Flashbangs, alright. Got a few decent things, and I'll, I'll need a new car in a second. Oh, uh, or I might not. This might be where I'm supposed to be. Uh, oh, hold on. There's Is this vehicle good to go? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. 
All visitors must see the yard manager. You must sign a liability waiver before entering the yard. If you're looking for a specific part, ask for it first. For you pull it, you must bring your own tools. Wear your protective clothing, junk piles, or hazardous areas. Yeah, but the sign should say the hazardous areas are because of demons. Um, I don't know if the hunting rifle's better. I don't know. I don't know. I still don't really have a sense of what weapons are much better than others. The biggest thing is just if I had more ammo for this, um, like the flashbang gun, that's clearly the winner. All right, anything over here? Do I dare go upstairs where something terrible is probably waiting? Uh, what this do? God damn it. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. It's okay though, worth it. Oh, and I got an extra flare gun anyway. You know what, that's fine. Okay. I can go out here. Oh, yeah, these things. These are like a collectible if you shoot them. Shit. <laughs> if you shoot them, you don't miss. All right. Ooh. All right. Let's go. Uh, wait, hold on. Is it? Wait, 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 wait a second. This is the way I came from. Hold on. Where am I going then? Oh, I got to open the gate. Duh. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what the green button was for. Okay. I get it. I know how games work. I'm smart sometimes. And fuck you. And your mama too. And I'll leave the other guy back there. I don't want to deal with him. We got to jump. Wee! <laughs> God. All right. Where are we going? That looks ominous as hell. Like a little obstacle course. <laughs> what is happening? This looks like a little boss arena if I've ever seen one. All right, where the fuck am I going? Go to Cauldron Lake. I know, I know, like the hint menu is not really helping me. All right, I jumped over that. I'm assuming where the light is, that's almost always the, the gaming thing, is if there's a bright ass light, it's where you're supposed to go. Like, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, I see. We're going. We're going up and over. Oh, I see. There we go. Ah, oh, because every good game has a pulley system that you have to like a little pulley game you have to do to start a generator. This Last of Us. This is real gameplay. Oh, then we're gonna open another gate. I'm assuming. Okay. I got it. I got it. Like, come on, just let me get to Cauldron Lake. I'm here for the story stuff. It's funny, too, because I'm like, I feel like I would... Oh, God, what the fuck is that? I didn't do that. I'm not liable. Excuse me. But I feel like if these games were not trying... No! 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 Not the tractor! Ah! It's after me! Stop it. Stop it. No. Not the demon possessed farm equipment. Oh, it's it's putting it in reverse. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? There you are. All right, I'm gonna blind you. Ow, ow. Oh, and there's enemies. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hostile work environment. Not a fan. Come on. Tractors. Is the tractor stuck? Of course it is. Wham. Wham. Bam. Oh, I missed him. Oh, that worked. All right. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Nope, nope, nope. Hold on. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Stop. Stop. You're wrecking my fucking car. There we go. Ah. All right. Now I'm going to run and push the button. Is there more? Probably. What was I going to say? Uh, all right, what what did that do? What did I? What what did I do pushing the button? I'm not sure. Oh, that's why that little pass open. Oh, I see it now. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're heading out. Okay, there we go. Are we almost there yet? I swear to God. 
It gets longer every time we have to go back to Cauldron Lake. I'm like, I swear to God, this place was right around the corner. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say, if these games were more like the Until Dawn or like the Quarry, like, if we could marry the kind of high concept, paranormal kind of writing that Remedy as a studio brings and that, you know, just, just the kind of ideas that they tend to put into their stuff. And then, because that's always like the biggest problem with games like until dawn and you know all the you know the supermassive games is the writing is usually the weak point the writing is usually goofy as hell um and i feel like the writing in remedy games is like at least solid like it's at least interesting and like pretty high concept and engaging to bury my plan back in the well-lit room i'd acted as if i knew what i was doing i didn't all right i gotta go through there on the shifting logic of a dream i had to fight my way to the lake through the horrors of the night I had to flick an old battered light switch imbued with childhood magic. I had to write a happy ending to a horror story. I had to save my wife from the dark prison she was being held in. What I feel like none of this would have happened if you hadn't been so depressed and you had picked a better vacation spot. Like, like, what does this game look like in, like, Hawaii? Like, the terrors of Hawaii on, you know, the beautiful, you know, coast follow. All right. I'm not much of a free thinker, so I'll head this way, like the sign says. Um, uh, I gotta, oh, I gotta drop through. Oh, uh, all right. No way out, I guess. Got enough revolver ammo. That's fine. Um, all right. And push. Oh, yeah. Tap that X button. Oh, oh, gameplay. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, nothing through here. I saw there was a green button over here. I'm assuming I gotta smack that and then maybe the gate will open. I don't know. Oh, goody. Bright lights, that means there's some bullshit coming up. Uh, pump action. Uh, the pump action, I can't remember if it was better or worse. I know it fires faster and it holds more shots, so based on that alone, I'll take it. And then these can switch on. Okay. I got a bunch of flashbangs, too. I'm going to use the fuck out of those. Let's see. I will never give her to you. Huh? Grandma, stop screaming in my mind. Oh my god. What the fuck? Yo, no, no. I can't fight all that, can I? Am I supposed to just like run between the buildings to not die? Oh god. All right, I'll light the flare initially to see where they are. When they get close, I'm going to flashbang them. All right, big boy, I'm not fucking with you. I, <laughs> I do love... Are you not fucking dead? I was going to say, I love the way they ragdoll, though, when you do hit him with, like, a big blast or something. That's really funny. <laughs> Um, but anyway, you know what I mean? I feel like like, like a game like this, it, like the combat's what kind of makes it not engaging because the combat's so janky. Um, and I feel like if it was just more of a story simulator, it would be so much more interesting. Like if we could play a game like an Until Dawn, but if it was going through this story, but it was all choice space and had branching paths and, you know, the writing was more interesting, like I think that would really bring up the, the in, you know, how interesting it was. What? What? No! I don't want that. Oh, no, I got the big light, though. Oh, no, don't jump right now. I can't not to overheat this thing, so otherwise then it's, like, useless. Okay. No one better come up behind me. What did I just fucking say? Can it turn all the way around? Nope. Wham! In the arms of the angels. <laughs> okay. Is there more of you? Oh, there are. There's a lot more of you. There's a lot more of everyone. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to flashbang you. Unbothered. <laughs> I got more. Who wants some? Oh my god. I know there's probably a lot more bullshit than there has been in previous sections, like just 
they're, they're making us go through so much of the driving and the enemies and all of that. Um, because I think this, again, this is towards the finale, so. Come on, Alan. <laughs> you know, like, half the, uh, the ADR for this game was just the voice actor recording, like, <gasps> just gasping, desperate sounds. All right. Push, push, push! The spooky music tells me something is behind us. Come on, big guy. Come on. Wee! Oh. Ah, uh, oh, the light. Nope, nope, nope. But the light. Owie! The light keeps us safe, though, right? Yeah. Okay, where the fuck I can are... see Mirror Peak in the distance. That's where Cauldron Lake was. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay, where are we up? Give me all that shit while he's huffing and puffing. But yeah, but you know the, the dubbing sessions for this was just the voice actor going, ah, uh, uh, just endlessly. Oh god, did I was I supposed to jump in there and I fucked it up? Okay. Oh, are we going for a little joyride? <laughs> this is fun. This is goofy. Come on. <laughs> Scooby Doo ass kind of setup. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to go faster. Oh, okay. And there's birds. Where are you? Where are you, birds? Oh, 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 oh no, no. Oh. <laughs> this is Looney Tunes ass this thing falling right as we finish. Oh god. Again, I still have a soft place in my heart for this game. Because that's the thing too. It it frustrates me and there's jank and all that, but I still I got a love for this game that I can't quite describe. You know what it is actually? I think I, I if I had to delve into why I kind of still enjoy it, I think it's because um and I've I don't know if I've ever talked about this elsewhere or if it's just something that I've kind of like like it's just a thought I have on gaming, but uh, cause I really am big on story based games. I can put up with a lot of janky gameplay and stuff being a little bit unpolished. Excuse me. Uh, if it means that I'm getting a fun, at least entertaining storyline versus like, I feel like a lot of people don't mind, uh, very environmental storytelling, you know, for example, you know, like the, you know, the FromSoft kind of games where there's you know, half, you know, most of those games you play them and there's no discernible plot, you know, like, and like, and obviously, you know, if you dig in, there is, if you're going through all the cue, all the, the clues and the, like the cues that it gives you, um, based on like the items you pick up in the descriptions and like the vague NPC dialogue. No, no, no. Aha. Didn't think I'd do that. Did ya? All right. Don't leave me alone while I push this. Um, but I just realized that's like a big divide in gaming. I, I think, I don't know what it is, what causes that, why some people are more interested in story-based games and some are more intrigued by, um, just gameplay, you know? They can deal with a more vague storyline as long as the gameplay is really wild and engaging, you know? Um, come on, come on. Come on, I want you all to, come on, give me the little, the little burst where you guys pop. Come on. I'm not moving on until, there you go, until you guys explode. But I, so I think for me it has to do with the fact that growing up I didn't play a whole lot of games. Um, I played some, but like, I was also a kid who watched a ton of movies. I was that kid watching. Uh, no more fucking birds. I'm tired of this shit. Owie. No, I didn't mean to use that. I just wanted to flare. There we go. Why does he walk so slow with the flare? It's not heavy, Alan. You know what? I'm just gonna keep up with the flares, cause I don't wanna I don't wanna fucking deal with it. At least it keeps them off my back for a little while. Ow. Ow, goddammit, there's a bunch of you fuckers. 
Come on, come on, come on. Get nice and close. I want to flashbang you. I have 11 of the flashbang ammos. Come on, reload, reload. There we go. Um, but that's why I've always been drawn to story-based games. That's why a game like Last of Us I just adore so much. What the fuck? Oh, that's right. The, the Shadow Come does damage me. You step into goop. Um, but uh, yeah, because like a game like... Again, that's why I think you know people talk about Last of Us obviously because it is you know, a masterpiece of a game. But people talk about the gameplay of it and it's like the gameplay is not what people were drawn to. You know, that gameplay is effective. It's good, good gameplay, but it's not the star. You know, the, the shooting and all that is really not the thing. It's that the build up to it, you know, is so tense and so emotional and you really care for the characters. It really does an exceptional job putting you in the shoes of what they're experiencing. Um, and I think that's really exciting. So I think a lot of games just don't have that. They don't have the quality of um, that kind of film like cinematic storytelling to be able to pull off what Last of Us does. And that's why people connected to it so much. Um, and that's why I think it's interesting, even with like the Last of Us show that is it's really good it's it's clearly again it's not like it's definitely no cash grab you can feel the passion from the cast and the writing and all that and even with all of that passion and love i still think it's inferior to the game i still think the game does something really special in that uh last of us realized that living through an emotional experience in gameplay where you are the one feeling like you have the autonomy to choose things and to try to escape and to live through the experience that's more powerful than even film can bring or even television can bring. Um, and I, I don't know. I think it just makes uh, the storytelling format of game design and gameplay so interesting. What the fuck is that? Damn, he said like it's fucking normal. Am I stuck in this tree? Oh my god. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I'm just doing this so I can see. I can't see a damn thing, so. I wish it didn't blind me as well, because it makes it so fucking hard to see. I'm gonna blow the fuck out of you. Not what I meant to say. Now I'm gonna. Don't clip that. Don't clip me saying I'm gonna blow the fuck out. I meant I'm gonna blow you the fuck up. I. Uh, I don't know why the stupid shit that I say in this game is higher than most for most of my other playthroughs. Oh my god. Y'all can. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, blow up already. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got a generator. Okay. It's going to be okay, everybody. There we go. All right. We're safe now. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to have the shotgun. I should be using that more. Um, all right. Are we almost there? I know it's like building up to one of like the finale sections. You can tell by the music. Motherfucker. Ah! You know what? I have a lot of these. I'm there you go. I gotta stop saving ammo so much because the game almost always gives you a bit more pretty quickly. Like I'm just fucking I'm firing willy nilly with this shit. Alright, where where else? Where are the rest of y'all? I know you're not gone. Jesus Christ, shit's just dropping from everywhere. Um, hold on, I gotta get my canteen. I don't care what perils are afoot. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. Let me just get through here. I swear to God, where am I supposed to be going? Is it this way? I feel like it's this way. 
At least that way. No, no. Fuck off. Ow! Stop it, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's right. That's right. Back it up, boys. What the fuck is all that noise? What is happening? Whoa, why is it all distorted? What the fuck? I, mean, I know it's distorted because there's a bunch of shit going on, but still. Ow, ow, ow. No. Oh, fuck you. No, fuck that. Fuck that bullshit. Ah, no, I don't want to be back here. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I want to get to the wake. I'm just a little owl in wake. <laughs> Widdly hitting the gwitty in the forest. <laughs> oh, what the hell am I babbling on about? All right, because it was up through here. Once Alan catches his breath, then we can go. What the fuck? Oh, that's what was exploding. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? No! All right, I'm not letting him catch up. Okay, yeah, I'm not falling for this time. Now I can start it. Quick, quick, before they show up. Uh, I think I might have gotten them all, but I don't want to risk it. There we go. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, okay. That's all the stuff. I swear to god, this better be it. Ah! No, no, no. Oh crap indeed, Alan. Too much bullshit. Oh my god, okay. I think we're good. Huh? What the what did I miss? What the what? That truck just dropped down there? Oh my Oh god. Is too stressful. Too stressful for my widow heart. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ. Excuse me, everyone. I'm the. What the. Who the. Who, oh, it's the jizz. Come on. I could probably just avoid it, but. Yeah, like if I just don't step in it, it's fine. Do I get the light here? Do I get a checkpoint? Oh, thank god. All right, is this finally, are we at Cauldron Lake? Fucking finally. All right, well, we got a little supply box here. Thank God after all the bullshit. All right. What does it say? The darkness wears your face. Oh, that's right. Just more of the, the cryptic messages. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I know. Spooky messages. Where are we going? Is, there, is this where we're supposed to go? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't think that's where I was supposed to go. Okay, there we go. There we go. Into the nightmare we see here. I'm gonna grab this fast as fucking possible. Uh, oh, I have all the revolver ammo. That's true, because I haven't really been using the revolver ammo at all. I needed to get the generator running. Okay. Just here, just take the electricity and stick it into there. That's how electricity works. All right. Where's the generator? Mm, where am I going? Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, is this not it? Where the fuck am I going, game? <laughs> what is happening? All right. I'm guessing it's just further forward. Oh, it's, oh, I see. It's down that way. That's where the generator is. If I looked around with my eyeballs, it wouldn't be so difficult. <laughs> okay, and stuff. A little shrine of flashbangs. Beautiful. Nice. I hear a chainsaw boy. <laughs> and I have a note for you and a note. You know what? I actually have a special note for you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's for you. And that's for you. I have gifts for everyone. I'm generous. What can I say? And you know, actually, special gift for you. Don't let it go to your head. Oh my god. All right, where'd the thing go? Oh, revolver ammo? Oh, I still don't need it. Uh, where is the butt? Where are we just? It's over here, right? Yeah. All right, what did that do? I, I don't feel like I'm ever quite certain what it does when I... Oh, did it lower this? Oh, nice, nice, okay. This thing's slow as hell. Level two. Where are we going? Please tell me. We're, by, we're, we're like on the mountain already, right? Like, it should be right around the corner. Anything up here? No. Game, you gotta pick one. You either need to make the area smaller or you need to let Alan... I'm not turning back now. I've been through so much bullshit. Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> he just nudged me. That was funny. All right. Oh, sorry. That just made me laugh. Um. Okay. Now, would you stop it? Ah, I'm trying to clear the debris. I'm a health and safety worker here, and you're interrupting with official business. Right, anyone else behind me? No? Okay, good. Oh, come on, get the boat out of here. Oh, he did it? Oh, thank God. Where'd you go? All right, I think we're good. Do as you're told. No, mommy. Ah! Rude, rude. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I, I can't jump it, I forgot. He does not have the, the athleticism. Let me through. Oh my fucking god. She never loved you. That may be true, but hey, we have an arrangement, all right? Ay ay ay. Alice never loved me. Well, I can live with that. <laughs> oh my fucking god. There's like some inception shit, like the dream is collapsing. Oh god. Jesus fucking Christ. What a mess. Right here, while nothing's attacking and flying at me, let's run through here. Oh! Oh, I gotta go through when nothing's gonna bonk me. <laughs> That's so funny. Ow! Alright, do I got all the flare gun ammo I can? Yeah, okay. Alright, gotta jump in between sh- Oh! Almost died there. Destroy the tornado. It might all be in my head, that's fine. I've assumed that Alan is a- I've assumed that Alan's crazy for a minute now. Oh, that did it? Why did destroying the tornado- oh, shit. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Why did destroying the tornado take as many hits as, like, one of the chainsaw guys?
<laughs> well, that's one way to try to hop in and save her, I guess, Alan. Oh. Shh, baby. You were having a bad dream. It was just another nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. Everything's fine. Ooh. Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on! Shh, baby. The power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed and I'll make you forget all about your fear in the dark. Okay. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? Hold on, let's hear her out. Alice, turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan, honey, you're still one foot in a dream. You're not making any sense. Come back to bed. Look, Alan, I'm just saying, just, just try the demon shadow woman pussy. Just, just see what she's offering, all right? Let's be reasonable, Alan. Ugh. And there's multiple of her. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. Hartman? <laughs> I don't need my pills. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. Thanks, baby. Genius. I'm so proud of you. Come back to bed. Talk more about it in the morning. I mean, she makes a compelling argument. Flattery and kind of gave me back to bed. Yeah, I, I get it. But no, there's work to be done. What am I saying? We gotta find the clicker. Ouch. No. Ow. Better. <laughs> I like that I'm like eight hours, nine hours into this game and I'm still- I don't really know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Hey, look, it's his true nightmare, a happy version of him. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. <laughs> he, uh, he a fine-looking fellow. Oh, I was wondering why things just had letters on them. I thought that was a glitch in the last section, but... I'm assuming it's like his delusion falling apart. I think I feel like I said it way back when that I was like, no, this is all... Oh, it's like his typed out words coming into existence, I guess. Yeah, because you can hear the typewriter going. Interesting. Again, more stuff like this, like less of the silly combat and more of this weird existential kind of stuff, you know? This is more interesting. What does it say? Oh, telephone pole. Come on. Nice. There we go. Because, like, these sections aren't necessarily, like, 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 just more interesting, you know? They're not... What? Me too. No, what do you say? You can't. Oof. No, I love you more than anything in the world. You're my heroes. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Alice, what are you doing? Put the light back on. What are you doing, Alice? Stop. To be fair, he sounds like a fuckboy. Like if. It's one of the things you don't want to hear. Like, you you can't leave me. You're my muse. What will I do without you? It's like, all right. That's the thing. Like, so people will get twisted about, like, oh, this is the time of you naughty boy. Hold on. Go on. I will help you your masterpiece. I will love you forever. 
Oh, let's go wherever that voice is. Bird log cap. Bird leg cabin. Oh, there's the cabin. Cool. All right. So we are making our way there, building the set one word at a time. But yeah, the whole like. Your husband refused to do as he was told. All he had to do was write what I wanted him to write. Now you will never get her back. I am much older than you. Older than your first work of art. I will find a new face to wear. Uh, someone else to dream me free. He's gonna fight her with the power of hugs. <laughs> that's that's how it feels when you just recharge the vibrator. I could feel Alice's presence close by. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to departure. There's light and there's darkness. Cause and effect. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. That's where Zane had gone wrong. There's a long journey through the night back into the light. Are we gonna find out that Zane is him? Alice? Like Zane is like, I don't know. I'm spitballing here, but like Alan Wake is a character he's written and Zane is the real him or some other version of him. Oh no. Oh no, good heavens. Yeah, dive in again. And then now this the game just starts over. Yay, she made it. This whole time Alan's been fighting demons for like a week straight, and meanwhile she just fell in the water and swam away. Or is it that like Alan just sacrificed, he traded himself for her kind of deal?
I swear, if this is the end, we don't get some answers. I might be a little annoyed. Oh, that's right. Deer Fest. We get to do it at Deer Fest? That's the DLC that everyone really wants, is Deer Fest. I'm sorry, but you know Deer Fest is fun as hell. The older I get, the more I'm like small, t like small time kind of festivals, because there's just no pressure. They're not that crowded. Yeah, the old dudes. Oh, good for them. Glad they got out of the, uh, got out of the nursing home. Mm -hmm. You okay? You was the one possessed for a while there. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. All right. Um. You know. <laughs> I. Oh, and now they're playing, um, oh, what's the David? Oh, I'm gonna have to mute this when I'm listening to, but, um, it's playing, uh, Space Oddity by David Bowie right now. So just put that on your Spotify in the background while you listen to me chat for a second here. So, all right. Now I know there are a couple like DLC chapters left. That said, I do I don't know. I don't feel like we got enough answers for that ending. I don't mind an ending having some enigmatic kind of energy to it, leaving some things undone, but it's it's been so much of being like this vague dark presence, you know, and all of that. And you can't you can't just maintain this mystique through an entire story. It's really I don't think it's good storytelling. Um, and I think this applies to not just, um, not just gaming, but film and writing is you're almost always better off, uh, kind of knowing something's fucky early on, giving the audience something tangible to cling to and then build from there. Um, and this one gave a lot of mystery and questions and then kind of left it on that note. I don't know. I don't feel like it ties it up as well as it should. And I also don't know, because I haven't played the DLC, obviously, so I don't know if that ties up these loose ends, but it does make me feel like if the answers are in those additional DLC s chapters, that's going to bug me as well, because DLC is meant to be a place of expansion, not a place to give your ending context. You know what I mean? Like, they just in the same way, for example, like if you play The Last of Us, you never have to play the Left Behind DLC. Not once. And that main game is still so satisfying and such a complete story. Just in the same way, you could probably take someone and have them play the Left Behind DLC and not play the main game, and they would still have a huge emotional impact on it. Oh, what am I saying though? I, that's not true because it starts with Joel being sick and that's why we're kind of going in and out of the memory. So I, I forget that there's context there, but you know what I mean though, as far as even the DLC though on its own after you play the main game is a really satisfying, strong um, choice, you know, all on its own, you know? Like it has a lot of strong choices in it, in the storytelling and the scenes, even though it's not very long. So, um, I don't know. I, I'll be honest. This leaves me conflicted. I still don't dislike the game as a whole. I'll be honest. Like there's still, I've played many other games that have technically better gameplay that I enjoyed less. Um, it just, I thought we were going to get a lot more of an interesting kind of finale. I do think again, they needed to tighten up less of the repetitive combat. Even so like fighting the tornado was more fun. I'm like, give me stuff like that. Like weird where I'm fighting apparitions. So you don't have to make something super linear and this just linear shooter, you know, you can really branch out from there. So, um, 
I will probably take time to play the DLC chapters for the channel as well, just to kind of give some additional context to the experience, because I think they probably do add to that. Um, it's funny, I feel like I've been defending it the whole time, because I think this game does have a lot of flaws. I think it does show that they were trying to do something different. The use of the live action inserts and the little TV episodes and all that. The They were trying to do experimental stuff that's not common in gameplay, and I always will appreciate a game that branches out in that way and doesn't just give me something generic or that's a copycat of something else. And they took a lot of these elements and they refined them in their later games, especially Control. Control has way better combat, really like just so much tighter, so much more frenetic and fast paced and satisfying, along with a lot of the same mysterious storytelling. But I feel like Control doesn't answer every question, but it does a little better than this about it, it ties more of the threads together and leaves some of it open to interpretation. And I think that's fair. It has a little more of a balance of those two, you know, those two ends of the spectrum here. And I don't know if this did. So, um, all right, let's see if there's any after credit something here. I can buzz through these final credits for a second. It's cool they got the rights to a good David Bowie song at the end. Like this, this game has been also like a copyright claim hell on YouTube because they're always using classic, you know, actual songs, which I appreciate them trying to do that. They're trying to make it more of a TV cinematic experience. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah, let's just see then before we wrap up then. Is there additional chapters? Um, a normal... Special wine, special two. So okay, so yeah, so there, there's two more from there. So I'll do those as well because I think that'll be interesting. I imagine they're gonna. Who's honking? Sorry, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on the mic. Someone's car alarm is going off right outside my house. This this is a mess. This is all this is all falling apart, people. Every everything's going to shit. <laughs> anyway, though, I'm glad I was able to at least finish it because I know it's been kind of like hanging. It, you know, in suspension for such a long time as I've been kind of, you know, drifting in and out of keeping up with my gaming videos. Um, so one, thanks for being patient if you're here for the finale. And then I will probably add those, yeah, those little DLC specials, especially because it's only two chapters, so that wouldn't take very long to do. And I'll kind of add those into the mix sometime soon after this. So, uh, but anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I'd also be very curious if, uh, for those who haven't played it, if you, um, if you know what you think of this but also if you have a chance to go play control in some of their other games i'm curious contextually what you think of this game in terms of how much progress they've made because that's always a thing i've mentioned throughout this series is that i am very willing to forgive a creative team of any kind if i see that they make something and they shoot for a high concept and they don't quite stick the landing but then they learn from that and they develop and they sharpen their game design further and i do think that's what the studio has done a lot of and i think they've really tried to push the boundaries further in the, the scope and scale of their games as they've made more, as well as the quality and trying to, you know, take the feedback and refine their game design the longer they've been making games. So I'm still very intrigued about what else they have to offer uh, in the future. So, uh, but hey, that was Alan Wake Remastered, an interesting spooky title, not perhaps the most satisfying, but it's funny, the middle section of the story I liked a lot more because it was just campy, you know, it was Agent Nightingale and all that. And it's clear, obviously, that it's leaving a little bit of a cliffhanger, which I also don't like in games because even in movies, I think it's a poor idea to leave on a cliffhanger because it's like, okay, you're going to wait two years. But with a game, a lot of times, if you leave on a cliffhanger, you're telling the audience, hey, can you come back in like seven years when we have the second game ready? So, um, but that said, we'll see where it goes. I'll be curious to see what direction it takes for Alan Wake 2, because it seems to be much more of like a, a cityscape oriented, at least from the trailers I've seen. Um, and with the dual narrative, I'm curious what shape that's going to take and if it's going to intersect openly with control because they are technically set in the same universe so again they laid a foundation here that has the potential for a ton of variety and stuff you know where they could build off of it from here we'll just see if they if they do it i do think they've improved their writing since then so i think they may do some interesting things with it so anyway this one was an imperfect flawed experience that i still am glad that i played and it makes me interested to see where the studio takes some of their future projects and kind of what direction they take this story getting to do alan wake 2 so many years later and 
if they're going to expand it in a satisfying way. So we'll see. Anyway, yeah, I'll be back with the DLC sometime soon. Uh, thanks for being here for another playthrough. I'm glad I was able to finally get through the main story at least. And now we have a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, closure, you know, kind of a good cathartic ending, you know, after being spaced out for such a long time. So anyway, I'll be back with more stuff soon, everyone. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic, and I will see you next time. Bye.